it. One sunny morning in the town of Countsville, little Mia opened her math book and gasped. All the numbers had vanished from the pages number one, two or three in sight. She rubbed her eyes and looked again, still blank. How will I learn counting if the numbers have run away? She cried. Just then, a giggling sound came from under the table. Out popped the number one, hopping like a pogo stick. Today is our holiday, it shouted. We numbers are tired of being written all day, Mia laughed. But without you, how will we count apples, toys and stars? Number two rolled in like a wheel. We just wanted some fun. Do you want to play hide and seek with us? Mia agreed, and the game began. She opened her toy box and found three hiding inside a teddy bear's pocket. Next, she checked her window and saw four balancing on the curtain rod like a tightrope walker. When Mia stepped into the garden, five was drawing shapes in the mud and six was swinging upside down from a tree branch. She giggled, you numbers are sillier than clowns. Suddenly, seven, eight and nine came sliding down the rainbow, shouting, weak, while zero bounced like a balloon. Mia clapped her hands. If you all come back to my math book, I promise we'll count in games and stories every day. Learning doesn't have to be boring. The numbers whispered together. They loved playing, but also loved helping kids learn. Finally, one nodded. All right, Mia, we'll return, but only if you make counting fun. Mia smiled. Deal. The numbers marched back into her book, dancing in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Her pages sparkled with joy again. That night, Mia counted stars in the sky and whispered, Thank you. My funny numbers. The numbers twinkled back, happy to stay forever. Moral of the story. Learning math can be fun and exciting when we play, imagine and count with joy.